The news of the passing of Musei Alan Gerard Kanyike started circulating last evening on different social media platforms and finally it's been confirmed Musei Kanyike has died at the age of 59 years at Sambia Hospital. Uh, the details of his death are still scanty but uh, reports indicate that he succumbed to you know brain hemorrhage and uh, his body is currently kept in the mortuary at Sambia Hospital. We all must admit to the fact that Mr. Kanyike enjoyed his life to the fullest and uh, he has died a very happy man. May his soul rest in peace. Now, the religious leaders in Uganda have called upon President Museveni's government to respect human rights and stop abductions, illegal detentions, extrajudicial killings and illegal arrests. <laughs> Now, for some long time, opposition supporters and other opposition political figures have been complaining regarding General Mohosi Kainerugaba's meddling into politics, questioning why he's not punished. But the deputy CDF, General Peter Eluelu, has said General MK is not answerable to them, further noting that senior military officers are responsible for their own individual actions. Now, this comes days after President Museveni, who is the commander-in-chief of the UPDF, said senior military officers, including his son, will not be punished for publicly making political statements and instead will be guided. Now, General Salim Saleh, President Museveni's brother, who is also presidential advisor on military matters, has called upon the different groups in the NRM party endorsing President Museveni while others endorsing his son, General MK, for the 2026 elections to stop wasting their time because the NRM has the Central Executive Committee to decide on that. <laughs> Well, that's it for now on the Buzz UG. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.